Let's talk about boxcars. Boxcar doors, to be specific. First, let's meet some people. Freddie and Carolyn. They live in the same town, their kids play sports together, and they work at different warehouses. Here's Fast Freddie on the job. He's fast with the forklift for sure. But for what he gains in speed, he loses in carelessness when he's working around the boxcars. Just look at the damage done unloading this car. Freddie's forklift or dock plate should never touch the boxcar door. The boxcar Fast Freddy just unloaded is on its way to the warehouse where Careful Carolyn works. Careful Carolyn is methodical about how she loads her cars. She gets the job done safely and on time, unless she gets a damaged car. Can you relate? Fast Freddy is not only slowing down Carolyn, but anyone else who gets a boxcar after he's finished with it. Boxcars are shared assets and part of a pool used by manufacturers and businesses across the country. Sharing the cars is efficient and it reduces transportation costs for you and your customers. And having a reliable, clean working boxcar just makes everyone's day go a little better. That's why we all need to protect boxcars, especially their doors, from damage. Boxcar doors are important. Without them, how could we get products in and out or safely transport those products without water or other environmental damage? So, let's talk how to work those doors. Plug doors use a handle to seal the door shut. Sliding doors have a latch to keep the door shut. Both types of doors, when working properly, should move easily when you push them open. There should be no need to force them open. But before you attempt to open a door, make sure you are following the safety procedures of your workplace. If available, park your forklift next to the car, but not touching the car. This provides an additional layer of safety in case doors are not fully attached to the box car. Check that the top rollers or door lip are in the track on the top and the rollers are on the bottom door track. Make sure the top and bottom door tracks are in good condition and that the door stops are in place. For a plug door, after you have removed the seals, turn the wheel or handle to release the door. It should not move suddenly. If it does, that may mean the load is putting pressure against the door. For the sliding door, remove the seals and unlatch the latch. For both types of doors, open the door 6 to 12 inches slowly and look inside. If no product has shifted onto the door, continue to slide the door open until it reaches the end stops and locks in the open position. If your door does not open easily, it is most likely damaged. Next, we'll talk about how to spot damage, report it, and get a damaged door open safely without the forklift.